What's up guys, Hobo88 here and welcome back to Assetto Corsa. It's been a long time since I've done an offline recording of an Assetto Corsa video. Usually we used to do it in the V8 supercars. However, I wanted to do something different and this is a mod that I've wanted to check out for ages. Turns out this might be my favorite mod that I've ever driven in any sim ever. It is so much fun. So this is the Assetto Corsa Legends Trans Am series. You can see on screen we've got a delicious looking muscle car and I cannot wait to hit the track. This is going to be an awesome, awesome video with any luck. We're going to have a run in this mod at Winton here to kick things off in this video. Guys, if you like what you see, please let me know in the comments below because I would be happy to make this a series, I reckon, and do a bunch of races in these cars because they are so much fun. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed it. Hit the like button if you thought it was great. Also, feel free to punch in the comments a recommendation of a track you'd like to see if we were to do another video in these cars. However, without any further ado, let me quickly jump across and show you what cars are available in this mod before we get underway. So, you can see on screen, here we go. This is what we've got that comes in this mod by default. Of course, the links are in the description below for the cars and for the track. We've got a 65 Ford Mustang, a 67 Mercury Cougar, a 68 Chevy Camaro, a 68 Dodge Dart, a 68 Pontiac Firebird, a 69 AMC Javelin, the 69 Chevy Camaro, which is what we're going to be driving in this video, a 1970 AAR Cuda, a 1970 AMC Javelin, a 70 Boss Mustang, 70 Chevy Camaro, 70 Dodge Challenger, and a 1970 Pontiac Firebird. Guys, this is going to be awesome. 20 lap race starting from the back of the pack coming right at you. All right, guys, here we go. Sitting on the grid, getting ready to go. Starting from position number 26, you can see that down here. We're at the bottom. There is a whole swag of awesome cars, names, and things like that in here that I cannot wait. 20 laps, position number 26. We did not qualify. We're going to try and get from last to first, if we can. Let's get this underway. I cannot wait for this. Here we go. Now, Assetto Corsa, as we know, quite famous for having terrible... AI. So, on lap number one here especially, we're going to have to be very careful. We're going to give these guys a heap of room. Because they're probably going to come to a complete standstill. As they pretty much do. No surprises there. But, once they get strung out, I've found the AI for this mod to be extremely good. And competitive so we're going to try and steal as many spots as we can here on the opening lap while they're all strung out before they're all strung out i should say i'll oh, just listen to that oh my god i love it we're kind of awkwardly positioned here heel toe downshift a massive amount of power. Now you'll notice I don't have the on-screen steering wheel like I normally do for most sim racing titles. I actually found turning it off has helped with my frame rates, having the driver's arms and the wheel turned off. I apologize if you prefer it there. But for the sake of the recording, I've decided to turn it off. Oh. Got one sending it down the inside here. There's just so much power. So they're starting to string out now. So now the racing should be good. We've got the 17th on the first lap. We're going to have our work cut out for us to get all the way to the front. But we'll do the best that we can. Take it easy through the long sweeper here. Try and get a move down the inside. 
pinch the brake, but we get it stopped just a little bit of a little bit of a rub. That's what this racing's all about. It's all good, fair game. So one of the things I love about it is there's just immense amounts of oversteer, but it's drive it's drivable. You can catch it. The Seto Corsa, obviously well known for its drifting mods. And this particular mod handles the drifting quite well. Oh, we got blocked on the... Try and get down the inside here if we can. The right hand here to the second last corner on the track is synonymous with bad braking bumps on the inside line. Wheeling it. Now we're out positioned here down the main straight. That Cougar is fast. You can see the cars in the distance are all skipping away a bit here. We need to try and move forward. This is Dan Gurney that we're racing against right here. Oh man, the sound. I love it. Oh, he runs wide. We'll sneak it down the inside here. We'll get this done. Full drift. Catch it. Take it easy. It's very easy to overdrive the entry to the corners. The cars don't stop well. They lock brakes easily. See if we can move forward here and catch this car in front. And the heel toe downshifting is one of the best feelings in a H pattern car. It's obviously winter, not a fast track. You don't even get to fourth gear around here. We only use third in a couple of spots. The only racetrack, permanent built racetrack, that I've ever driven around at speed in real life, this track. That's why I like to come here for these sorts of videos. I know people are polarized by this track. You either love it or you hate it. I love it. I think it's a real driver's track, but it is narrow. The curbs are pretty violent. Very stop-starty. We need to start making some progress here. We're not really catching very quickly at all. Try and keep the rear tyres under it. Through the sweeper, we got it wrong. Basically like a touring car masters category this. I love it. Made some good gains there through that section of the lap. So the only thing I haven't really tested here is what tire wear is going to be like. We're definitely using up the rear tires. How cool are the flames coming out of the exhaust, the car in front there, that's awesome. up onto lap five right here as well. We're nearly at one quarter race distance and we're still only in 15th. Again, the AI takes a bit of a bad line through there so we can make the most of that.
the down shifting. Oh, I love it. I love it. Look at how far away those guys are. Way up there. We're never going to catch them. Parnelli Jones is the next name in front of us here. A bit deep into the second last corner there. Just got it stopped. Oh, there's a big checkup. Something's happened. We will capitalize. Thank you very much. Oh, these two, the teammates, they're into it. Car one and car two. Skated in on the rears. How is the sound? It's violent. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, we're into the top 10. We got lucky there. A whole bunch of cars checked up off the final turn. I don't know what happened, but we'll, we're not going to complain about that. You literally drift through that sweeper every lap. Drag race. We're on the outside here in the braking zone. Just parked it. Oh, big wheel spin there. That hurt us. Get down the inside here. <laughs> All that wheel speed, I love it. to ninth. See if we can pull away. Love that corner right there.
The good news is we're actually got pretty good pace right here. We are catching all these cars. The ones way out in front, you can see way off going through the final corner already. But we're a chance to at least grab a few here. We're still not quite halfway yet. The first five laps went super quick, but all of a sudden, 20 laps almost feels a lot long enough to get near the front. You can see the standings down on the right-hand side as well. I don't normally run that sort of stuff for these, but I figured it would be useful for you guys to be able to see what position we were in. as well as the inputs. Don't know why I changed gears there. It was a bit strange, but anyway. We all make mistakes, you guys. We all do it. Oh, we touched the grass. Just got away with that. Making some progress here. Catching up with the back of this Mustang. We're able to make a little bit of time through this section. The AI's line is not great, especially off this right-hander right here. Oh, the tyres are starting to go away, you guys. I do have tyre wear set to just normal. I don't have it accelerated or anything. Try and take it easy for a lap here and cool the tyres off a little. We're going to need them in a minute to try and make some passes right up here. And the heel toe downshifting in. It's just a beautiful thing in a car that sounds like this. Now we're there. Just listen to the rumble of those things. Oh, I love it. The exterior sounds from the other cars are just incredible. I don't know if we'll be close enough here. We're not as quick on the straights. I don't actually know whether or not all the cars are specced the same or if they're a little different. It feels like we're slower on the straights than pretty much all the others. That could be just AI. Or it could be the driver. Oh! Get out of the way! Look at that dude in that cockpit working the wheel. They're very good through that first chicane. Let's see if we can get close enough here through this corner to make a move. Here we go. Not really. the outside here, the left-hander, but it does give us the inside if we can hold on. Oh, 
That was a nice move in the end. Top five is in range right up here. Try this move again if we can. It worked last time really well. Can we hang around the outside? Yes, we can. Oh, and the two car there runs really awkwardly wide. Hey, it's another guy named Brenton. And we both want sixth place. Oh, sorry, no, we're both fighting for fifth place. Got hampered there, we had to get on the grass. Gave us a really bad run off the turn. Big boot full of throttle on the downshift. Try and get the engine revs matched up for the big shift back to first. P6. Oh, one wide in front of us. They all balked each other up there. That worked out well for us. Our favourite overtaking manoeuvre around the outside of the left-hander there. Worked again. Listen to that thing. Oh, my God. <laughs> Now we know the AI just parks on the middle of the track right here. We tried, but we're now in a bad spot down the outside here. Turn in and just hope he's not there. We got away with it. We're up to fourth. Look at the leader. 10 seconds up the road. Should be able to probably get the second, but I don't know about the leader. Hey, look, it's the 88. Is it just me or does that car look like it's wet? It's got like droplets all over it or something. Straighten off the exit, get the drive down the straight. We do move up to third. Pretty deep under brakes down there. 
That's a beautifully executed corner right there. We are catching the leader to where we were earlier in the race, but it's a long way. Oh boy, that was a bit brave. We're going to cough up a spot right here at least. One. Oh! I do have damage at 100% too. We don't really want to be hitting people. Oh, we might have actually picked up a bit of damage too. It felt very weird when I hit the brake pedal. So that's annoying. A little bit of a mistake. No, they're going to run wide. All right, can we clear him? Can we do it? Straighten off the exit. Way too much wheel spin. I think we are. Alright, let's see if we can do anything at all with that leader. We've only got about four or five laps here. I'm not actually sure if that's the lap that we're on at the top or if that's laps completed. I think it's a lap that we're on. Oh! I think that that impact before might have hurt the car a little bit. It's especially bad on the big brake stops. Maybe that's just the tyres going away, I don't know. Maybe the driver. a long way up the road. Uh, don't see us getting anywhere near him, but there he is. He's already around the next corner up there. Taking it easy down here into one. Two laps in a row, we had a big moment under brakes, so. Just gotta wait so long. Which is what it should be like. You kind of got to drive them slow to drive them fast. There he is, he's still a mile in front of us. I think we might have caught him a little bit, but not a lot.
much better through there that time. So that time as we come around onto the back straight here, we could see him in the middle of the corner up here. So we did gain a couple of, maybe a couple of seconds in the last couple of laps, but nowhere near enough. Certainly pulling away from the cars behind though. I feel like there's three to go. Big brake lock pinch to right front. There he is again. We're just catching him a little bit, not by much. Maybe if we had 100 laps, we might get there. This is the good marker here. We'll see where he is relative to the second last corner as we come around the bend. There he is, he's on the straight. You can see we've gained him by another second or a bit more, maybe. I could just turn laps all day in this. Here we go, starting the final lap this time. Well, we weren't able to do anything with the leader, but we got all the way to second from 26. That was a hell of a lot of fun.
Guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to see another one at a different track, let me know the track preference. Maybe we'll make that happen. As we round the last two corners, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Twitter or Instagram at Hobo88. Twitch.tv forward slash Hobo88 if you want to come tune into the live streams. And don't forget the Discord channel. Link is in the description below. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you guys in the next one.